I've always wondered what those are. And if they're dangerous. <laughs> they sure are! Hi, audience. We're about to learn about gas flaring and fire stacks. If you learned something new, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And comment down below so I can find out what other everyday mysteries we should look into next. How long have you been there? And what audience? And did you just intro yourself? In order of asking, I'm always with you, the audience watching this video. And yes, I did intro myself since it's polite. Okay, fine. But what did you just call those things? Fire stacks and gas flaring. Those giant fire stacks may look cool and they're way more important than you think. They're burning fumes from the oil? Wrong, <laughs> but that's why I'm always with you. Thank you? Those flare stacks are there to act like giant lighters or pilot lights. They're there to burn off the natural gas that can't be captured or used. If they weren't there, the whole field would blow up. How, How much you ask? Well, around the world, it's about 140 billion cubic meters or 4.49 trillion cubic feet. Insane. Isn't that a giant waste of resources? Sure is. <laughs> Ooh, a giant greenhouse gas creator. <laughs> sure is. Oh, releasing other pollution into the air. <laughs> sure is. But why is natural gas there at all? Well, natural gas and oil usually hang out in the same spot. <sighs> and let me guess, there's there's nothing we can do as humanity slowly leaks into the nothingness that is time? Not at all! As bleak as this all sounds, there are ways to reduce the waste. Like using pipelines to transport the gas so we can use it rather than burn it. Or turning it into liquid so we can actually use it as fuel. Or, you know, government regulations. Hope is out there! <laughs> exactly! Like my hope of being your roommate while on this road trip. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Thanks for learning with us, everyone. If you'd like to learn why rainbows are arches, click here. See you soon. <laughs>